Hello everyone, I hope you are doing well. I am fine, thank you. Always excited to have this moment of conversation with you guys. So you guys know how we roll here. As you come onto the video, please, please, please say hello. Let me know where you are watching me from and um, I'm trying to get a nice place for the lighting. Yeah, um, do say hello. Let me know where you are watching me from. And um, of course, do give the video a like. I know um, some of you are always like, Eva, we haven't even heard anything from you. How can you like the video? Trust me, I only unleash gems. So um, liking the video is free. It's the least you can do to support the channel. Um, it helps with the algorithms to send the video to a lot more people. So guys, um, kindly bear with me today. I. I just had my wisdom teeth removed the last two so I'm trying to really speak as quickly as I can and finish so um, yeah so as you can see from the title of the video today we are going all the way to New Zealand one of my favorite favorite countries in the world it is so beautiful guys a neighbor to Australia it's very very far from the rest of the world but trust me it's one of those countries you wouldn't regret visiting or relocating to or working at it's a little pricier than other countries but you're gonna be paid well so we are looking at the accredited employer um, work visa for New Zealand specifically so I did a very short video about three minutes on TikTok <laughs> And that video went really viral and it had a lot of questions and that's why today I have decided to just do a full video on it so that if anybody um, goes to TikTok and see the shorter version and they're interested in learning more about it, they can come and learn about it here. So guys, um, we have a TikTok channel. It is Eva Mtali. It is so lit, guys. We hit 61,000. Um, followers today so congratulations all of you guys if you are here on the youtube and you also follow me on tiktok thank you so much i appreciate the support and looks like we are gonna hit 100,000 on tiktok much faster than we are gonna hit 100,000 here so let's see guys keep sharing both platforms let's see where the party is gonna be at of course we're gonna have a 100,000 subscriber slash follower party for either channels so make sure you're here and you know obviously every time we hit a milestone i always do giveaways so keep it locked here so guys very quickly the if you're just joining do say hello let me know where you're watching me from and like the video so we are looking at the new zealand visa accredited employer work visa so i'm just gonna put a disclaimer first of all um this is a temporary visa but it has pathways to permanent residence in Australia. And that's why I am looking at it. And the other good part about this visa is that you land in New Zealand and straight away in the next 25 days, you're gonna have a job. I mean, you're gonna have um, money coming into your account because it is a work visa. And it is a visa you apply for if you have a job offer from what is called an accredited employer. And before you start running away from the channel, um from this video don't worry i'm going to show you exactly where to find these accredited employers um what uh skill sets they are looking for and the whole mix so don't even try to run away so the accredited employer work visa um it is a three-year visa that allows you to stay in australia in sorry in new zealand for three years and you can in, bring your family with you so those of you who don't watch the video and run to the comment section yes you can bring your family members with you and they are gonna come and stay with you as your dependents. So generally in terms of processing time, 90% of the visa applications are processed in 48 days, less than two months. So um, this is quite the contrast with Canada. And that's why guys, I always encourage you, spread your wings, look at different places and see where you're gonna be luckier first. So um, with this visa, you can work in New Zealand for an accredited employer who has offered you at least 30 hours work a week. So if an employer can promise you 
30 hours of work a week, then you can apply for this um, visa. You can study for up to two months, sorry, for up to three months in any 12 month period or do any study that is required as part of your employment. So let's say, for example, I am hired as an accountant, but my employer wants me to study for um, the New Zealand Certified Public Accountancy Accreditation, or I am a project manager, hired as a project manager, but my New Zealand employer wants me to work as, I mean, to study for PLB qualifications, for example. So if you are eligible, you can apply for a straight to residence visa. And I'm going to talk about that in a bit. So that means I get hired today and immediately as I am applying for, um, as I get this job offer, with this job offer, I apply for a straight to residence visa. Or I can apply for a work to residence visa. So what this means is that I'm going to work for maybe two years and then I qualify for a residence visa in New Zealand or care workforce visa or transport work to residence visa. And I'm going to cover all those in a bit. Also, if you are eligible, you can use um, skilled work experience in New Zealand to claim points towards the skilled migrant category resident visa. So those are the advantages of these um, New Zealand accredited employer work visa. So now on to the most important part of it. How do you find these jobs? Because of course, this is a visa, is a sponsored visa. Your employer is going to sponsor your visa, which means they're going to give you a job offer. And this job offer is what you are going to use to apply for a visa. Now, generally, um, you're gonna have to have a job offer and it must meet certain criteria so i've said number one your employer must offer you at least 30 hours of work and then your job offer must be current at the time you apply for your visa so usually the employer will tell you okay we are hiring eva for three years beginning the date to that date so by the time you're applying for this visa your job offer must be current and number three your employer must be one who is accredited to hire foreign workers for the accredited employer work visa and he must an, he must have an approved job check for your role so generally what happens um the reason why new zealand is very strict with this um issue of your employer must be accredited is because they do not want a situation whereby they are taking away jobs from New Zealanders, yeah? So they want to make sure that your employer has indeed looked for somebody in New Zealand and they can confirm that there's nobody in New Zealand who is qualified to do this job. 25 watching me only for likes. Hakuna shida. But there is another category of... Um, jobs which are called green list jobs so if your profession falls in the green list job then it means your employer doesn't have to first advertise for your job make sure that there is a new zealand resident or citizen who does not want this job if you're in the green list all you have to do is just to apply for a job in new zealand and use your job offer to um apply for the visa so those are the two cases number one if you're on the green list you can just work for the accredited employer if your profession is not on the green list then your employer must advertise and then prove sort of like what we have for the lmia in canada whereby the employer must prove there's no canadian citizen or permanent resident who is qualified to take that job or wants to take up the job so in new zealand they have the same thing but the same way we have um category of jobs that do not require LMIA and there's a video about that you can check here on the channel it's a live video it's the same way in New Zealand we have jobs that do not require the Canadian version of the LMIA and they are called jobs in the green list currently we have 191 of them and I'll quickly go through them in a bit so that's in a nutshell how it works so 
The advantage with New Zealand, unlike most of our countries, there is no secret. So you are not left questioning, okay, who is an accredited employer, who is not accredited? No, there is, I'm going to show you right here. On this website, they have um, a list of accredited employers. So it's not a list per se. It is a tool, it is searchable, and it allows you to check if an employer is accredited. So all of you who keep sending me emails, Eva, look, I found this employer, this job offer, and then I realized that, um, oh, is, it, is this job fake? It's, no, if you find a job that is advertised, just come here and check. So here, let's go. Um, I don't know which are to, should I start with the green list first? Should I start with where to find the jobs or should I start with the tool? <laughs> I'm not sure. Let me know in the comment section. Should I start with the green list or should I start with the employers or should I start with them? Um, which one should I start with? Maybe, okay, so in general, um, there are three main places to find um, jobs in, Aust sorry, in New Zealand. I keep confusing the two jobs in New Zealand that are visa sponsored. So I'm gonna give you the three websites that I uh, know of. So we have number one is called Seek, and I'm gonna um, just show you guys here. Oh, by the way, guys, before I forget, um, in my last live video, I just learned after the live that the audio wasn't clear and none of you told me about it. So if usually this happens when I am transitioning, so right now I'm using my stand but i'm now gonna transition because i'm gonna I'm gonna have to hold the phone with my hand to show you my screen in for any purpose if for any reason my voice is not clear please let me know don't wait until the end of the video and then you come and complain in the comment section if it's not audible let me know immediately all right so let's go to the back end i don't know how to hold it but it doesn't Okay, so here, first website is here. Can you guys see? So when you come to the website, seek.com, sorry, seek.co.nz slash accredited employer jobs. So what you can do, if you're not very sure to master the whole of this, just go to Google and type seek.co dash, sorry, dash, sorry, dot nz and then you go to accredited employers and then it's going to bring you right now as at the shooting of this video you can see we have 397 jobs so sometimes when you have a list like this any the, the, the system will pick anything that is has the word accredited on it so what you'll have to do you'll just have to come here and um, you can um, search by uh, classification like here you see we have if you're an accountant or um, an admin officer or your ceo whatever you can come and choose by title of the job yeah so let's pick for example hospitality so you just come and pick healthcare of course has the most accredited employer job so you just come in, and then it so guys just going by through this if let's even say you're still trying to think of a career and you want to practice outside of your country this tool alone is enough to tell you where the in-demand jobs are. So, for example, you can see accounting only has nine. Yeah? While um, healthcare and medical has 117, ICT has 83. This is not rocket science. It means that there is more demand for foreign workers in these sectors. So that's generally how this works so let's say for example you pick um what what should we pick guys what do you want me to pick let me know which one you want me to pick so let's pick this one for example yeah so i have picked um hospitality and tourism so what you'll want to do is come here and check on the particular job this is like a pizza chef and what you want to do before you do anything just do a control f accredited you see that one doesn't have so maybe that one is just picked a wrong system picked something wrong or you come here let's look at this one for example 
this other one. Just do, to save yourself time, do a control F, accredited. You can see here, accredited employer. So this is what you want to do, yeah? So that you don't waste your time. Once you've done that, just keep going all the way until you find one that is, you know. Let's try this other one. Control F, accredited. I've just done Control F. You can see there. I didn't even type the whole thing. I just do a credit, then I enter. Yeah? Accredited employer. Yeah? So, guys, does it make sense for that particular website? That's seek.co.nz. It's step number one to find who is accredited or not. Just go there. That's the first website. Now, let's move on to the next website. This one all of you guys know. LinkedIn.com. It's one of my favorites. And I'm going to show you what I've just done. So, for this particular one. So, I've just gone to LinkedIn.com. And then, you can see right there, LinkedIn.com. Then I did slash web. Then, what I did, I came here under location. I put New Zealand. And then, I used, I tried using a site to the guy that gives me all manner of video options. So, I tried to use the location. Right down here and then click control. So what I do, I just click on a particular job like this one I click on this one. And then up here, control F, relocation. So when I oops, it has gone again. I'm sorry. <laughs> um so what I've done, I've just come here, uh relocate. I didn't even finish the whole sentence, and it's gonna show me. So you can see, you can see relocate to Australia, and then I check again. So if I click on this job going down, you can see right here. Oh, no, sorry, this is Australia. I don't know why it has given me this one, but you can just see it. This is an example. Please note, this role is based in Australia. So only apply if you're open to relocation. Okay? Oh, can you hear me now, Gertrude? Can you guys now hear me? So this is just one way. Um, and then there's another one I saw here is another. Let me know, guys, if you can hear me. So let's look at this other one, technical copywriter. Same thing. Guys, let me know if you can hear me now. Control F. You can see right there, relock. Yeah. And then... I just scroll down. It's gonna show me if you if you click on that. You see, it shows you there are five out of six relocation things. You can see here. We are proud to be. Can you you can hear me? Great. We are proud to be an immigration New Zealand accredited employer and can support visa applications. We'll help you move to New Zealand and provide a lump sum payment to cover relocation expenses. Did you guys see that? So you just using changing the, the the what do we call changing the search term has just made our work easier. And you can see, guys, the one thing if you're a copywriter, by the way, you can apply for this job. You can see it is 100% remote work. And um, you can see here they have everything. It's just a technical copywriter. This is something I can do. Most people can do this. And there's only 22 applicants since one month ago. But it's still open. Now, the other thing you do when you find an employer such as this one, so let's say we can see here, this is a website company. You can see they have apps, they have all manner of things. You see the kind of things they do? So what you do, if you find like this particular employer is looking for a technical copywriter and they have already said they are an accredited employer, you just come and visit their website. You see like if you click apply, it will show you if it's going to be if you see this arrow, it means you're going to an external website. Yeah, you see it there? And it is clearly written worldwide. As long as you're within four hours of New Zealand time zone, it's remote, yeah? So you can just go to their website, just type um, Matomo, and then you will find if they have other jobs which they are hiring for. Um, and then which other one? Okay, we have this other one here. Um, this is a dental, I think. So let's do 
relocation again if they have i don't know if they have this one i hadn't checked but oh yeah you can see visa approved relocation support to help make your move easy yeah so if you're a dentist whatever this is what you do so if you let's say um this obviously looks like a hospital or something um so you can go and check what other positions and you can see no one has applied four days ago and i know this i know several dentists <laughs> so you can see visa approved they're even telling you get to the far north it's standing beaches visa approved no one has applied four days ago so guys this is just one of the ways so just come here and check all of them we even have this other let me see this account manager let me see if this one is accepting relocation um oh no this one doesn't so this is another thing it's like this one the relocation is saying no relocation so that is just how you can go about it yeah just keep checking until and then there's now this other one okay nurses internationally qualified nurses expression of interest for CAP students and graduates. You can see there's only three applicants. So here, um, where is that one? Let me look for it. This one is for people in Oceania. So if let's say you're from Fiji and which other country, Cayman Islands, those 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 countries in the in Oceania, they are being invited to apply for uh, express interest here sort of just what canada does and you can see how many only only three people have applied one week what i would do in such a situation if i was a nurse i would just send my cv and look at the pay 32 to 46 yeah plus bonuses so guys there's a whole even this other one data science but they're gonna locate you to dubai but if you can see here this is an it's a it's a New Zealandic company looking for data scientists. In two months, they've only gotten seventy applications, and this one you're gonna work in Dubai. But you can see we provide visa sponsorship and relocation assistance. Look at the salary, guys, ten thousand per annum, plus bonuses and zero percent tax. Guys, there's no money, there's no, um, there's no jobs. And then we have this other one. This is another one I want us to look at. Eh? This one is a, it's a recruitment company, but you can still check them out. They are looking for different things. So there's a whole nurses here being looked for. Nurses to work in New Zealand, only 27 applicants. Yeah. Okay, and only requirement is two years nursing in the last five years, and you just have to be an RN. Yeah, so they are all this. This is a it's a hiring company, and guys, um, stay to the end. I'm gonna show you something. There's something I need to tell you that you start uh, preparing for if you're planning to immigrate. So make sure you stay here. And then here we also have, uh, so this company, Cobblestone Energy, has so many opportunities. Go and check them out, Cobblestone Energy. So many of them in Dubai. And then we also have this other one, St. John of God Christ Church. Are you seeing? Two weeks, only two applicants. Yeah. And then if you do the Control F, let's check. In fact, so now, let's see now 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 that we are here let's just click on this and i show you how to look for if, if they are accredited so that you know whether to apply or not so i'm just gonna click on this and then here is our tool Where is that tool okay so here is where you go you come to immigration dot govt dot mz i hope you guys can see can you guys see that's the website you come to okay so you'll just come here once you go to immigration.govt.mz it will bring you to this page come to new zealand visas click on it and then 
preparing a visa application, working in New Zealand, check if an employee is accredited. It will bring you to this page. Guys, don't worry. I'm going to link all this in the comments once I finish talking. So remember, we've copied that employer. So you just come down here. There's a tool. So there's no story of you being conned. Just come here. Control. You see? Enter the number, if you know the number or the name of the business. So I'm going to click on that. You see, it's opening. So it has told me sorry. So what I can do is remove some of the names. So you see, this one doesn't have, it's not an accredited employer. So you leave that one out. Come to the next one, Cobblestone Energy. So let's copy this one, Cobblestone Energy. Okay, there's something here. If you cannot find an employer listed, this database is updated as employers join the accreditation program or renew their accredit accreditation status. Some employers have chosen not to be published in the search results. Check with the employer to find out if they are accredited or not, guys. So if you don't find an employer here, just ask them and they'll be happy to let you know, yeah? So let's try this other one cobblestone energy sorry not there but we've already seen they are offering relocation and they're offering visas so maybe they're one of those that don't want to be known but there's one here which i'd already searched um let me look for some mm. like the retail outsourcing one Okay, maybe then you'll find them here. Okay, so, so guys, uh, we've seen two, two avenues for finding these employers. Number one is using that website, Seek. Um, let me even just, I'll copy it later. Seek, we have that seek.co, that's number one. Just do the control F and see if the employer is, um, is accredited. Alternatively, you can check the name of the employer if you find a role that you like and you're qualified check the name of the employer come to the accredited employer list and see if they are an accredited employer if you don't find them ask them you can also use the, the word visa sponsored or you can use the word relocation those three terms will help you know if the employer is sponsoring visas or not number two go to indeed.com sorry not indeed i'm um, linkedin under jobs, enter location as New Zealand, you can use relocation or you can use accredited. Accredited was giving you so many irrelevant results, so that's why I decided to go with um, uh, relocation. It was much easier and it was opening, even for example, we have seen the Dubai based position, which we couldn't have found maybe if we had accredited. Number three, one of my favorite ones is Indeed. So you guys know indeed you can find jobs like for everywhere so i already had opened some of them so what you need to do is go to nz which is newzealand.indeed.com and then this is what i have done i will show you in a bit here so what i just did i came to nz dot indeed dot com find jobs then what I said accredited employers where New Zealand. Now, if you don't want to work with accredited employers, you can just go to where New Zealand and then find jobs. If you find a job that you like, check if the employer is accredited. So we have this one here. Bopa is the first one that I, able, I was able to find. So if you come here to our list for checking the tool, so let's just type Bopa, for example. Bopa. And then click on search. You can see. And the trading name is this. And then when you click on this button here for details, it gives you the employer number. So you see, it's very, very clear, even the day of expiry. So there's no story of, oh, Eva, is this real? Is this fake? Is it what? No, it even tells you the name. So if this person, for example, was supposed to be hiring you, it's so clear. You, there's no room for confusion unless you just, let me not use that word. There are people waiting for me to say that, and then they'll come in the comment section. 
And then there's this other one here, Carta. This is another job, shift fitters. Let me look at this employer if they are um, accredited. I'm going to copy. And then I'm going to come here. Clear. Let me know if you can still hear me. Every time I change, I... Can you see here? And this one is having different names. So can you see? So it means for this particular employer, anybody who's in the building construction industry, this is one of the websites you need to go and visit. Yeah, you can see they're dealing in plywood. They have HALT. I don't know what HALT stands for. And they have building products. And when you click here, it gives you their business number. Everything is here. So when you come to Indeed, you can see here they are looking for shift fitters. I have no idea what those are, but I'm sure the people who do it understand. And then look at the pay. 46 to 55. And the best part, accredited employer with Immigration New Zealand. Let me know if I'm still making sense, guys. Let me know if I am still making sense. Yeah, and this one, the job is closing very soon. So if you're a shift fitter, I'm sure you understand what that is. I have no idea what that is. And you can see you're working 42 hours a week. And you just need a relevant trade qualification, good numeracy, English. I don't know what these are. I wish I knew what these things are. Anybody who knows what that is, please let me know. Then we have this other one. Now, this is very interesting. I want you guys to follow me closely. So here is another company. They're looking for a roofer with one to two years experience. The company is E and H. So let's, I want to show you something so that you people can learn. I want to follow me closely. So let me just copy that. Usually this is the name of the company. Um, so let me copy that and then come to our tool here clear and paste so you see when i go here it tells me sorry there are no results but i am oh i am certain this is an accredited employer so what i did just see what i do here so you can see it's e and h roof guard so see what i'm doing there and then i'm using one such term so it's gonna give me every employer with a roof something you see, there are 10 of them. So all proof, no, no, proof, no, 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 no. That cannot be the one, cannot be the one, cannot be the one. It must be this one. Where is that one? I saw Reliance and something. Uh-uh. You can't embarrass me now. I saw you somewhere. Uh-uh. Guys, imagine I saw this thing. I saw the name somewhere. What name is that they were using? But it was a roof something. Now we have to go back. I promise you guys, E and H roof guard. I saw the name somewhere. E and H. They had so many. Um, I don't know why I can't see now, but there were so many. It was E and something. Okay, let me even just copy it. Um, I wanted to show you how to find them. No, maybe it wasn't this one. I think it was another one. We'll probably find it. Okay, here is another one. Caregiver. Um, Met Life Care. So just come back here. Guys, I'm going to get you a roofing company soon. I saw one actually. I don't know where it has gone. Met Claire, you can see here. All those, yeah? You can see they have um, retirement villages. So that means if you are looking for care jobs, that is one of the companies you want to look at. Yeah. So if they are looking for caregivers. And if you go down, you can see. We offer 23, no, $23 to 83 an hour based on experience. Um, 
and you're only going to be working Tuesday to Saturday. Yeah? So that is just one. And then the other one is this one here, Mental Health Support Worker. This is the name of the company. You just come, oh, come on, copy. Control V. You can see that is another accredited employer. And they're looking for, um, they have different jobs. This one has so many jobs, this one. Mental health support worker. And they also had support worker PLC. I have no idea what those are, but I'm sure people who deal in them have an idea. Then we have another, uh, this one also is looking for aquaculture technician. So Cowthron Institute, if you come here, Clear that and post this one. You can see I don't even have to click search. It just brings it on its own. And when you check on the details, yeah, it even told you the date's expiring. So there's no confusion, guys. Everything is so clear and available. Um, they're looking for aquaculture technician. Two of them. can see here please note applications are reviewed as they come in so don't delay if you have any questions you see they even put for you if you need a job description or you have any inquiries there's an email here so if you have any questions please ask them moving on um this one i don't know if we've talked about shift i think i think we've looked at shift oh yeah this is the one i don't know if this is a, E and H roof guard. You guys, I don't know why I'm not able to see this thing. And I saw it. Edwards and Hardy. This is such a huge company. It's accredited. I don't know why it's not featuring there. Let me look for them. They are a roofing company. Oh, yes. I knew it. They had to be here. So this is what I wanted to show you guys, eh? So if you come to Indeed, you can see the name it gives up there is E and H Roof Guard. But when you come down, you see it gives the full, the full name, Edwards and Hardy. So that's the one I have. Picked. So when you, when you look at, if you search for this name, for example, and you don't find it, don't give up. Try, like in the description, they, they had the name Edwards and Hardy, and that's what I've used here. Edwards and Hardy, and you can see down here, there are three companies, Edwards and Hardy, Edwards and Hardy, Edwards and Hardy, and this one, it says Taranaki Limited, so I'm sure they are the one, because I've seen Taranaki somewhere, yeah, okay, and here, all you have to do is email your CV to Cheryl, they even left a phone number if you want to call them. And it's very clear, New Zealand Immigration Accredited Employer. Guys, let me know if I'm still making sense and tell me how you're still going to get conned with something so direct like this. They even tell you who to talk to. There's even a phone number. But some of you, you are still going to look for funny agents. And by the way, you know those agents, they watch my videos. They come here and they're going to come and fake uh, an offer letter from this company and give you people because you're too lazy to come and do your own homework. So can you see, if you have any questions, email this lady or call her. Okay? So they are looking for a roofer one to two years experience. Yeah? And look at what you have to supply. is just your CV. And all you need is have good communication skills, you must be reliable, have proven work history. So guys, that's basically how you go about it. So there's a whole list of employers here. Let me see, 1,000 jobs featured. I put accredited employers, we got 1,172 jobs. 
And sometimes if you want, if you have a specific job type, just come here and click on whether you want. So go for full time. In fact, let me just pick full time, permanent. Yeah. Or I don't know. Let's pick permanent. I think it may be better choice for us. Yeah. And then just come here and check these things. Hmm? Here is another one. If you're in electricity, we have here vector. Vector. If I come here and look for vector, clear vector. vector vector it's gonna give me because vector has different branches but this is a new zealand one can you see are you seeing this is a name they are using vector limited vector fiber vector so just come check all this yeah and then um, sometimes, let's say I'm not sure, maybe I'm in the hospitality industry and I'm just looking for hotels. So I can just come here and type hotel. It's going to give me all the hotels that are, are accredited. You see, 216 hotels. You see, plus bars, plus. But you see the names they are using. So for example, this is Kiwi. International Hotel, but they are trading as 411 Queen Street, whatever. So that is one way. Or let's say if I, I want restaurant position. So I'll come here and type restaurant. Restaurant. 467 of them are accredited. And guys, you can see here, this information is updated weekly. The last update was 8th of August. Today, as of the shooting of this video, is 9th of August. This thing was updated yesterday. And you still allow yourselves to be conned, guys. And then you come crying in my inbox, Shaurien. Are you seeing? So what you do, you can... So if, let's say, I'm a... I'm a... I don't know, a chef or whatever. I just come here and if you read the end of the page, just click more. All these are accredited. So you just check, do they have um, openings? You see how it is easy? Even Burger King is accredited. So if let's say you're a pizza, sh I don't know, do they do pizzas in Burger King? I, don't hmm? I hope I am making sense, guys. Let me know in the comment section. Somebody is asking me what's the name of this website. So this is the Government of New Zealand immigration website, immigration.govt.nz. Then you come to, okay, let me take you press, press, step by step how it works. So you come here. So I've just copied that one. I'm on Google. You see, I've copied that website on Google. Click enter. It brings me to this page. Go to New Zealand visas. This is the page it will bring you to, yeah? Go to New Zealand visas. Explore a visa. No, no, that's not what you want. Oh, oh, this is where now confusion starts. Okay, New Zealand visas. Um, preparing a visa application. I don't know, I'm confused. Okay, let, let, let's just go through the easier path. <laughs> Google. Google.com. I've conned you guys, sorry. Let me just go to Google, sorry. Just come to Google. And then you type New Zealand accredited employer. Not list accredited employer visa okay it will be so you see what i've entered New Zealand accredited employer visa come to accredited employer work visa details and then this is where we are now okay this is where we are okay 
I hope it's clear. So you guys, you see what I did? Let's go back. New Zealand accredited employer visa. First link is up there. Government, this is how you know it's a government website. .govt.nz. Do not be conned. You can see there are almost 1 million results. Go for this specific one here. Then it's going to bring you to this page. Just scroll down, 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 down all the way to who can apply New Zealand job offer. Scroll down, scroll down, scroll down, scroll down. Check if an employee is accredited. And there is even a list, yeah? They even have a list of non-compliant employers. Like you can even tell who is conning people. Okay? So I hope we are clear up to that point. Um, okay? Um, so that's basically what you're going to have to keep doing. Um, on this page, you can see. We even have this other one, warehouse store person, Elanco. Let's see if they are accredited, Elanco. Guys, let me know if you've understood so we can move to the next item. I'm giving many examples so that, oh, Elanco is not here. So I have to come back here and check. if it is accredited or it was just a wrong search term. Control F. Oh yeah, you see, why it, because they have accredited passwords. So the system just picked the word accredited. So those are some of the challenges you're gonna find, yeah? It will just pick random things. And then this is another one, Treescape. This one I know gives visa sponsor, but I don't know why I wasn't seeing. Let me see if we can find. Um, okay, do you see here? Treescape is an accredited employer, which means that we can support visa applications under the accredited employer work visa. They even tell you, for more information, there's an email address. Guys, do you see how these people are so kind? If you have questions, they even tell you where to ask. The only challenge I'm having, I don't know why I wasn't finding them here. I don't know which name they use. If I look for them here, I can't find them. I don't know why, but they've said they are. Treescape. When I looked for the, the word Treescape, I wasn't finding them, so I don't know. Let me try. I tried using the word Treescape, which is their name. Maybe it's there. You see, I can't find. So if I come to Treescape, 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 Australia, they probably have another name they use. So you see here. Treescape is a, is a professional arboricultural service provider. But you can see their, their name. I think I don't know. Okay, let's look at them. I look at their LinkedIn profile. Maybe we'll find them. Treescape. I don't know why. I can't find them even though it shows there are no jobs right now. Treescape. But anyway, even though they are not here, it showed that they are accredited. So guys, you have to check multiple websites. Don't give up to any other for a traffic controller. Let's see what a traffic controller does. So here you need a license, F plus one license and all that. I don't know what that person does anyway. Let's look at this hotel here, supervisor, F&B supervisor. At Novotel, let's see if they are accredited.
Do you guys see that? The pay rate for this job is 28.18. We are able to support the right candidate through obtaining an accredited employer work visa. Guys, do you see what I'm seeing here? Yeah? Okay, and then we have um, this library assistant. I don't know what this is. Let's see if they're accredited as well. Okay, I'm just going to do a control F accredited. We have it here. Let's see. No. So you see here, living wage accredited employer. Very, very different from what we want. So those are just some of the time, such terms. Sometimes they'll give you wrong. Such terms. Let's look at this one. Lifeguard. This one is probably accredited. Oh, living wage. Okay, that's different. Lab technician. So most of this is just do a control F. You see, this is not the one. So that's what you have to just keep doing until you eventually, it's not easy. You have to be um, zero. I know he's, he's an accredited employer. This one is looking for an IT support specialist. Let's see. Do you see that? Zero is a New Zealand immigration accredited employer and rainbow tick certified, which means if you are in the alphabet community, you can work here. You can see, and they're looking for an IT support specialist. Let's see the requirements. Um, you see, all they need passion and excitement for technology. Verbal skills, blah, blah, blah. Just three years relevant experience. That's all they need. And then, oh, I saw somebody asking before truck driver. Here you are. Somebody was asking truck driver. Here you go. Class five driver's license with three to four years of experience. Yeah. Excuse me. Oh, imagine you have to be living in Australia. So these are the things you have to check for. To be eligible for this position, you must currently be living in New Zealand and have a legal right to work permanently in this country, unfortunately. But remember, they are accredited, yeah? You can see here, they are accredited. So you can try your luck, I don't know. Oh, here, there's even a tree faller. Huh. Guys, I didn't know this was a job. Tree fall, I like to fell trees. Look. You see? Tree fall. This position is for an experienced faller who is comfortable and confident and has taken machine assisted felling of trees. So let's see the requirement. Oh, you must already be leaving, unfortunately. Somebody asked me, oh, but this must be something for long, because they said here, due to COVID-19 restrictions, overseas applicants for this position will not be considered. But this was a long time ago. Yeah, because you see the position was posted 30 plus days ago. So maybe this was during the days of COVID, but I would still try my luck. Because if this is the only reason, COVID restrictions, there's no more COVID. Like, okay, there's COVID, but it's not that bad. But you need certification, forestry operations, whatever those are. But guys, I hope generally you can just see the kind of jobs that are available. This other one is what? Tonkin and Taylor. Are you seeing? We are proud to be an immigration New Zealand accredited employer. They're looking for business support coordinator. Wellington, Tonkin and Taylor. Let's look for them. Tonkin and Taylor. 
Tonkin and Taylor. Tonkin. You can see? Tonkin and Taylor. Yeah? So that one is available if you have business support things. Tonkin and Taylor, they have so many opportunities. And then if you're a medical laboratory technician, this one I know is certified. This one I know. 100% sure. Auckland District Health Board. Actually, all medical facilities, almost all of them are accredited. Let's see. Okay. They are here. You see here? And this will be a salary, 52 to whatever thousand. They even tell you Okay, everything is here. Medical laboratory technician. If you're a laboratory, laboratory technician, if you have any questions, like guys, every information here, even the hiring manager's information, she's called Colin. Everything is here. Yeah? Oh, truck driver. Let's see if this one, Tonkin is hiring a truck driver. P pavement technician. Let's see if them, they are open to hiring. Oh, look, we are proud to be an immigration New Zealand accredited employer and a member of Diversity Works. So if you want to apply online, that's somebody who was asking me, pavement technician and truck driver. They will see, we, are, we offer ongoing training and professional development. So this is a good company, Geotechnics Limited. So these are the only requirements. Full clean class one driver's license, class two truck license would be beneficial. However, we can provide training for the right person, zero to two years of experience working in manual labor or road construction, able to lift items weighing 25 plus kg, experience with roading tools, safety conscious computer literate. So guys, just come here and check I don't know why Triscape today is having... Triscape used to be one of my favorites. They used to be open to hire from outside, but I don't know why these days they have all this currently believing, unfortunately. Vector, please go and check them out. Zero, that one I know. Counselor Health is also... Um, I mean, the Habit Health. Um, this one is also accredited, I know. They're looking for a counselor. So let's just see. Oh, not for overseas, unfortunately. So guys, you see the way it's nice. They even tell you if they're open to overseas, if they're not open. They will give you all that information. Somebody is asking me how to apply. Please just scroll back to the beginning of the video because I cannot repeat everything I have said. There's a truck driver who's asking me how to apply. Just go back to the beginning of this video. So guys, generally that is how these things work let's look at this carpenter carpenter at extra star this one is a recruiting company aha uh -huh, great i love this one carpenters in the house do you see we are looking for skilled carpenters to join the brand new projects based across the central northern island with some projects kicking off in the next four to eight weeks we can accommodate your notice period assist you with the short-term work in Auckland and offer assistance with relocation if necessary. Let's see if they're open to hire from outside. Job security and confidence, you are working with a highly accredited employer. So this is another one, you can check them out. They are a recruitment company, but I don't know, try your luck, do your due diligence, that's the name of the company, Extra Star. Um, Triscape, but go and check with Triscape website, Tonkin and Taylor. Please go and check them out. Tonkin, I've already confirmed, is a is a accredited employer. Go and check them out. They are looking for geotechnical engineers. I don't know what those are, but the engineers know themselves. Do you see? 
We are proud to be an Immigration New Zealand accredited employer. Tonkin, Tonkin. So this is another company, recruitment company, this 84 recruitment. Um, they also have, um, there's somebody there. Are you seeing? Talk to Jessica if you're interested. Planting and after cast. So guys, this tree scape is one. I want you guys to just watch them out if you're into those any of those manual jobs. They usually, I don't know why they've closed, but last year they were open to hiring. I don't know what is happening. When did, I don't know, maybe they, I don't watch TV, so there's probably COVID in New Zealand. I have no idea. But yeah, are you seeing the requirements? Experience in planting and watering. Really? I just watered my flowers today. <laughs> so i don't know if let's see if this one also is yeah must currently be living due to covid so you can see it's just this covid restrictions but they used to hire okay let's see what was cbc and there's this one here i don't know if they are let's see if they are um kinder care learning centers let's see if they are accredited kinder care learning centers Kinder care, kinder care. Yeah, you see, kinder care learning centers is accredited. So, if we come here, you can see here, babies and toddlers teacher, kinder care learning centers is accredited. Let's see if they're open to hiring. We are an accredited employer. So, you see what are the requirements? Let's see. Oh, they want residency or valid news. But just ask them. They might have other jobs because they said they're an accredited employer. So, you never know. Talk to them. And this one is midwife opportunities. If you're a midwife, New Zealand government is looking for you. Yeah, look what they're offering. Are you looking for a New Zealand adventure in 2023? Short term or permanently? Flexible work week, relocation, cost support package, support with provided with immigration. So if you are a trained midwife seeking a new challenge, broaden your midwifery skill, career and experience, there's an opportunity to achieve all three goals in Auckland. So if you are a midwife or if you know any, this is what you need to do. Or you can email mail in for any information you need. She's a recruitment consultant. Yeah, and they're offering visa support. So guys, I'm tired of talking. <laughs> Okay, this one is looking for this one is the same kinder care. Let's see if this one is also they're looking for poor already in New Zealand. Yeah, looks like they're looking for people who are already in New Zealand with a work visa. Anywho. So guys, here is the thing. Huh? So I've shown you how to find the jobs, how to find the employers. Feel free to talk to them. Most of these job applications will give details of the recruiting manager. And here is the thing. When you are contacting the recruitment manager, don't just write those funny emails you guys write to me. Hi, Eva, small e. Go and polish your grammar. Because if I was a recruiter, you sent me an email, it has grammatical errors, you spelt my name with small letters, I will just dump your email in the spam folder. So remember, this is part of the job application. Don't write them, you guys write to me. And one day I told you guys, I will open my inbox one day. Some of you think I'm just rude. Some people came to me, oh, either you're rude, either this, either that. Yeah, you go and write to them emails the way you write to me. No paragraphs, no full stops, no what, the way you write WhatsApp messages. Don't write to recruiters like that. There's no opportunity for a first impression. So make sure when you're approaching these recruiters, 
imagine that email as one of your first interview they have given you their name some of you watch me here on a live and you still come to my inbox dear sir do i look like a man i probably look like a man but please i don't talk like one so be very careful go and check if like that lady she's madeline if you're not sure go and type is madeline a lady's name in new zealand and don't address people dear sir eva come on and that time you call me sir and you spell my name small letters i block you and report spam you can come for me in the comments um so that's part one eh? we've talked about that now let's move to the other part which is the less difficult part what do you oh what i hadn't shown you the green list sorry so remember we said um yes they called me dear sir i'm so serious i'll show you i'm gonna open my inbox if i find time i'll open it today you see they call me dear sir i don't even open my eyes so um now we said that for these jobs if the employer um is accredited they need to advertise to make sure that nobody in new zealand like wants this job but there are jobs which are called green list green lit, green <laughs> green list roles yeah so the green list for roles in demand in new zealand that's basically what it is it is a green list of roles in demand in new zealand so if your role is listed on this list as of the shooting of this video there are 192 sorry 191 roles if your role is listed and you have the qualification the registration or the experience that is required you may be able to get residence immediately or after two years of working in australia so i will quickly go through that list i'll show you so to, to get to this list you just have to go to immigration new zealand green list roles just go to um google yeah okay oh come on <laughs> okay so here i am immigration remember i told you how to tell it's a government website dot gov t dot nz come to new zealand visas preparing a visa application working in new zealand qualifications for work green list roles okay so here i said you can go for either straight to residence visa or work to residence visa so here there are different ways you can check out this list you can check by industry you just click there so you can see we have um, agriculture, business professional, civil machinery, construction, engineering, factory process worker, um, health and social services, ICT, electronics, and telecommunications. So let's start with agriculture. So when you click on agriculture, you can see there are only five roles on the green list. And this is dairy cattle farmer, you're a you have to work for two years. So when you click here, it shows you the details. So if you're a dairy cattle farmer, you... Oh, sorry. I've, I've blocked the... <laughs> sorry, I blocked the volume again. Dairy cattle farmer. If you're a dairy cattle farmer, you will need to work a minimum of three years on a commercial farm, and then you can apply for work to residents if you are a dairy cattle farm manager this is a tier two role same thing you'll have to work for minimum of three years in a commercial farm and then get residents dairy farm manager so this is how you know any tier two role you have to work for at least three years yeah and they give you all that information they tell you this is like for canada what we have the noc code new zealand has the same so this is tier two Agriculture, five positions. Now let's check business. So business, we only have two. 
external auditor. It's a tier one role, which means you can apply for permanent residence directly. Okay. To be eligible, you must be working for an accredited employer or have a job offer from one. If you meet all the visa requirements, you can apply for a straight to residence visa now. You can apply in New Zealand or come on a work visa and apply. You can also apply from outside New Zealand. So guys, I hope it is clear. If you are an external auditor, you're working for, um, they call them what? Price Waterhouse, Ernst & Young, Deloitte, this is your opportunity to shine. If you are an international, internal auditor, you also qualify. Yeah, so you can be working for an employer. Oh, sorry, I forgot to say the requirements. Huh? So pay for the employment must be 38.56 per hour or above. Guys, look at the salary of the internal auditor. Let's see what the external auditor gets. Same, 38. So under business, it's strictly internal and external auditors. Let's look at civil machinery operators. So here we have six positions. Backhoe, I have no idea what those are. Bulldozer operator, you'll have to work for three years and then get permanent residence. We have a moving plant operator, excavator operator, grade operator, and loader operator. So these are tier two roles. It means you'll have to work for at least three years and then you can apply for permanent residence. Um, let's check construction. Construction, we have six. So if you're a building associate, building construction supervisor, construction project manager. Oh, so construction project manager, you can qualify for straight to residence. Um, and then we have crane operator. Project builder is tier one as well. So if you're a project manager and site foreman, you qualified for straight to residence. If you're a quantity surveyor, that's also eligible for straight to residence because you're tier one if you are a surveyor. So anybody in any of these roles, surveyor, quantity surveyor, construction project manager, straight to residence. These other ones, you have to work for three years. Okay, so even with just a job offer, you can come on a work visa and then apply for residence or apply for residence straight from your home country. I would apply for the work visa and then come and apply once I'm here. Um, let's look at engineering. Engineering, we have 19 roles. Most of them, actually, they're all tier one, so I won't even bother going through them. All of them are tier one, all these engineers, straight to residence. Do you see? see more all this engineering roles you can apply so these are green list there's nothing like oh is there any new zealander who wants the job the employer doesn't even need to up to advertise first if you're in any of these engineering roles so they're all tier one you're eligible for straight to residence you don't have to work for three years factory process worker let's see Halal slaughter. Where are my Muslim brothers and sisters? If you are a halal slaughterer, yeah, you can um, yeah, you can see if you are working in this role and are eligible, you can apply for residence after two years working in New Zealand. The earliest you could apply would be September 2023. Okay, you must be working with an employer and at a site listed on the New Zealand approved animal products halal premises diary. So what I, was, I would do, if I was a slaughterer, I would just go to this website. Just click here. You see, they even tell you where to go. Let's even just go there right now. You see here it is. I would come here. If I am working, I'm a slaughterer, come there. And then they've said we go under where did they say we go? They said under the animal products notice. So come here. Oh, oh, where was that? Where are we? Yeah, here they are. New Zealand approved animal products halal premises. Guys, do you see everything? Please get conned at your own risk. Every information is available. You can see this is the government website. Here, 
So just if you're a halal slaughterer, just contact these guys here and tell them you're looking for a job. After two years of working for them, apply for permanent residence. Hmm? Acheni kusumbuka uko kwa maslota za Kenya and wherever else. I don't know where else. People are watching from Nigeria. Stop suffering in those Nigerian slaughterhouses. Yeah? So that is factory process worker. Now let's look at the other industry. Health. This one is the most. Any. This one is any health job. You can see there are 130 of them. I won't even bother going. Anything in a hospital. Come. And you can see you are all eligible for all of them are eligible for Taiwan. All of them. All. Even a careers counselor. If you're a careers counselor, come. All this Taiwan. All this. Look at all this. Anything that works in a hospital. Any position in a hospital. You can see they are all considered Taiwan. You apply for direct. You see, even a nursing assistant, marriage counselor, pharmacist, everything. I, intensive care specialist, everything is here. Medical lab scientist, all of them are tier one, straight for residents. Medical practitioner, middle school teacher. Oh, let's see which teacher this. I don't know what these teachers, I don't think, maybe if you're a medical, we have midwife, neurologist, neurosurgeon, nuclear nurse practitioner, occupational therapist, everything is here. Anything that, any role in a hospital, and you can see they're all tier one, which means straight to residents. Even pathologists, pet, they don't, I don't know what those are. Anything in a hospital is covered here. Podiatrist. What is a podiatrist? Someone let me know in the comments. I'm so curious. Podiatrist. What is that? Everything is here. Do you guys see? Everything. Rehabilitation, rheumatologist, I don't know, school principal. Oh, even a school principal, secondary school teacher. If you're teaching in the MTC, special needs teacher, everything is here. Special needs dentists, special education teachers. Oh, but then the tire too. Let's see special education. Work for two years. Yeah, do you see? If you're a speech therapist, student counselor. Oh, teachers of English to speakers of other languages. Wow. Guys, if you're a teacher of English to other languages, let's see. Two years only, but you need to registration with the Teaching Council of New Zealand and you'll be issued a certificate. So, teacher of the hearing impaired. So, if you're a sign language teacher, if you're teaching the blind, veterinarian, guys, everything is here. So, you can see the help. So, if you're still um, struggling to see, okay, Eva. I'm trying to look for a career. I hope this list alone is enough to tell you. If you don't want to stay in your country, you have to be in the right industry. So let's look at ICT. We have 11. So these are the positions. And they're all tier one. ICT managers. You can go straight to permanent residence, multimedia, all this. Yeah? This is ICT. So guys, I hope you're looking. If you're looking to change or if you have small kids who are looking for careers and you don't like your country, you better be in the right industry. Other special scientist is here. And then uh, we have uh, science roles. Let's see. Environmental research. Um, scientist, Taiwan role. And then there's also food technologist. Eh? So that one is also covered there. And then let's go to trades. So trades, we only have eight positions. So here, automotive technician. This is tier two. I think this is after two years as well. Yeah, so after two years in New Zealand, working. Yeah. 
and then we have diesel motor mechanic we have drain layer we have an electrician gas fitter motor mechanic motorcycle mechanic and we even have plumber so let's see the requirements yeah so you will need to registration as either a certified plumber tradesman plumber or blah 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 new zealand plumbers blah 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 board 12 months on a provisional license will be accepted toward the duration and for accredited employer work visa purposes provided registration is complete on application for the resident visa so you can see here they can give you a provisional license to work with as long as you get an accredited employer meanwhile you have to complete your um, certification so guys what you need to do is just come and check if your profession is covered in the green list and then check the requirements so if you are in the green list your employer doesn't need to look for a qualified new zealander if you're not on the green list then they need to look for a qualified new zealander um now now that we have a job what else do you need to submit your um application so number one you need to have proof of identity we've talked about it several times you must provide proof of identity which is your passport if you do not have a passport keep it here when we hit 100k on youtube or 100k on tiktok tiktok we are currently 61,000. we are at almost 1,000 new followers on tiktok every day so we could hit 100k by the end of this year you know i always give um do giveaways or if i'm just inspired so guys oh which reminds me if you guys remember there's an opportunity i shared with you guys some time back eh? for denmark it was called future scientists who remembers that thing I shared with you guys? Future Scientist Summer Camp in Denmark. I shared right here on the channel. Um, and I asked you guys to apply for your kids. It was a summer camp, fully funded, 100% air ticket, everything. That um, I shared with you guys here on the channel. And I asked you to tell your teenagers to apply. I am so excited. You guys remember when the news came, I was here on a live. My son applied. I have a 16 or 15 year old. He applied and he's currently in Denmark. And those guys are having a fun time. So we still haven't celebrated that and we have other wins to celebrate. So this is what I'm talking about. You guys, if you can't remember this website I shared with you guys some time back. This one, novonodesk.com. Remember? Who can remember? Anyone who was on the live, what does it cost to participate? Oh, I don't know why it's not accepting. Is it because it's ongoing? So you can see the camp is currently ongoing. My son is in Denmark. He's having a good time. They are really having fun. So I don't know why this part is not open, but I wanted it to open so you can see that these things are true. It was free to participate. I don't know why it's not opening, but anywho, it was a fully funded thing. And um, so we haven't celebrated that win yet. You know, usually when I have a win to celebrate, you guys benefit. So if you don't have a passport, keep it locked here. I could just decide to celebrate something. <laughs> Even this win, we haven't celebrated yet because he's yet to come back from Denmark. And um, yeah. So these things are true, they work, they are real. I just thought that as a by the way. So of course you need a passport, you're going to need a photo. And then, in fact, let me just read them here. So that you guys, Mr. Seme, I'm just reading things from my head. So, right here. We are at the accredited employer work visa. So I've talked about identity. You must provide proof of identity, which is your passport. Then number two is here character you must be of good character so the only way they'll check you're of good character you're gonna need a certificate of good conduct yeah if you have a criminal conviction or are a security risk to new zealand 
we may not be able to grant your visa. So you must provide police certificates. If you are 16 years or older, yeah? If you have already sent us police certificates with a previous visa application and they are less than 24 months old, you do not need to send them again. Police certificates must be less than six months old when you submit your application. They must be from any country you are a citizen of or have spent more than five years in since you turned 17. Number three, health. You must be in good health. After you submit your application, we will check any medical information you have previously submitted and contact you if you need medical information. So guys, this is probably out of, um, this may be out of, may feel out of place, but I will tell you, you know, sometimes, um, I don't know if it's in other countries, but in Kenya, we have this saying, uh, my body, my choice. William Tutapatua Bingoni, we shall be given new bodies in heaven. But let me tell you, I have somebody in my inbox right now. She qualified for, uh, it was a he. He qualified for um, um, C1D visa. He had applied for a job as a chef. No, not a chef. Yes, he was a chef, I think. On one of the cruise ships, I won't say which one. But because of his medical condition, and I am 110% sure because I know him personally, it's because of, and don't come for me at I'm body shaming somebody, okay, he's fat. So remember when you go for those medical tests, they test everything. And I'm almost certain his, his physical appearance is part of the results. Okay, he's fat. Let's just call a spade a spade. And I think it affected the results. And they told him they can't hire him. So imagine you have the visa, you have everything, everything, everything. The only reason is your medicals. Guys, let's put our health in check. You could have everything. But because of your health, you're denied a visa. And these visas are not cheap. So if you are thinking of going to the gym, beginning of August, and your beginning of August has not started. If you are thinking of eating healthy, beginning of August, and your beginning of August hasn't started, please take this as a cue. Guys, these bodies is all we have. Let's take care of them. Yeah? Enough of that pep talk, okay? The other thing you need is what they call genuine intentions. You must genuinely intend to meet the conditions of your visa. So, for example, if it is a um, work visa, yeah? of course, in this case, it is a work visa. They, like you have to show, let's say if I say I'm coming to work to in, um, I'm coming to work in, uh, what do you call it? In New Zealand as, as a, as a, what do we call it? As a plumber, for example. So, obviously, at the beginning, unless I have the work, unless I have the straight to permanent residence option, I'm going to be coming on a temporary visa. So, when you travel to New Zealand on this temporary visa, you must have genuine reasons for staying in New Zealand on that work visa. Yeah, and they are going to be checking, okay? So let me check something else that you might need. Um, give me one minute. I've lost my page. Okay, let me just move to the next one. I can't remember where I, I wrote that. We talked about the job offer. Your job offer must be full-time. And the employer must be accredited. I have shown you where to find an accredited employer. And then it must be current at the time you apply for the visa. Um, you must be going to work at least 30 hours a week. And um, yeah, I think I've talked about that. Um, we've talked about um, there must be no New Zealanders available to do the work you have been offered. And your employer will normally advertise the role and show the government of New Zealand evidence they have advertised and not found 
suitable New Zealanders as part of their job check before they will let them offer the job to someone outside New Zealand. But they only do not need to advertise if your role is on the green list and you meet the qualifications and experience listed for your role. So make sure you check clearly that you meet those qualifications. And of course, make sure you have a CV, international kind of CV. Forget about these CVs that you have in your country. You're telling people your age, whether you're married, how many children you have. You're putting your picture there. You're putting your grandma's name. Forget about that. International, clean CV, straight to the point, focused only on the role you're applying for. And we have a full, full article on my blog, ivamtali.com. But also if you need help with your CV, feel free to contact me on ivamtali, CV services at gmail.com. It is a paid service. So by the way, guys, I decided beginning this month, if you want to come to my inbox, you have to pay. I'm sorry because I am overwhelmed and I don't have any more time. Like I started a whole career on TikTok, guys. I have a whole new, it's like a whole new job, TikTok. Currently 60,000, 61,000 followers. One video gets like, in fact, let me show you guys. There's a video, like it is insane on TikTok. I don't even know how to handle it. I, I think I'm probably gonna hire a separate assistant. So I have one assistant who helps me with all my other work, but I think I'm gonna have to get a new assistant specifically just for TikTok. And because of this, I have even been unable to go live on TikTok, guys, you know? Most people um, grow their accounts because they go live. I have never gone live on TikTok, but I have 61,000 people following me. And I've never gone live. So you can imagine when I go live, they're going to probably break the internet. And I'm so serious, guys. I know some of you think I'm bragging, but people go live. People grow their accounts by going live. I've never gone live. I only follow. Let me show you my account. And just for the record, um, my screen is horrible. So don't even come judging me. I told you guys to contribute for me to buy uh, a new phone, but to make a tassel. We will use this one so you can see this i asked you guys buy me a new phone you didn't buy me so this is my phone and this is my tiktok account you can see if i'm telling 61 actually we've gone we've i've gotten 100 new followers because when i started the live we were at 61 now we are 61,100, and you can see i'm only following 30 people but let me show you you see the kind of views i'm getting on tiktok i don't know why this thing is not clear no, I need it bigger. Are you seeing the insane views in one video? That one has 400,000, 700,000, 300,000. And this other one, guys, this other video, let me show you. This one, 26,000. It's a video I did. It's less than 12, hour, 12 hours old. And then there's this other one I need to show you, guys. There's one which I did yesterday. It's almost... 400,000. Where is it? So you guys can understand why. Okay, this one. Can you guys see this video? 339,000. I did this video yesterday. I know some of you might not believe me. Do you see? Two days ago. And it's already at 339,000. Yeah? 339,000. And look at the number of comments. 303 comments. So here's the thing. When you are a content creator and a video goes viral, I have to monitor the video bumper to bumper for damage control. Because you don't know what those 30 comments, 300 comments are all about. So that means I have to spend a lot of time on that video to make sure in case I need to do any damage control, I'm on top of my game. And that's why you will see this particular video. I have almost 10 responses because people are asking questions. People who are saying I'm a scam, there's all these kind of things I have to do. That's a whole new job I have to do. So I do not have time to. 
So there's that. And then due to public demand, I started doing your CVs. That's a whole new work to do. And then I have to create content for TikTok. Unfortunately, the the even just the format of the content for TikTok is not the same as YouTube. TikTok, I have to put my phone like this. YouTube, they have to be like this. So it means I can't even repurpose the videos if I need. Um, so sometimes I do repurpose them, but I noticed a lot of you don't watch those videos when I put them here. So there's that aspect. So I have to do separate content for TikTok and separate content for YouTube. And then I have a blog, evantali.com. And then I have seven YouTube channels, guys. You already know that. I have seven YouTube channels on top of all these things. And then I still have to attend to emails. And then I have a Telegram channel that I just started less than two months ago, which has 2,000 people plus. Guys, and I'm one person plus my assistant. So there are things the assistant can do for me, but there are things that um, she cannot do for me, like responding to your emails, unless they're obvious ones, like when you send CV inquiries, those she can respond to, but there are others she cannot respond to. So if you have a question, please ask in the public platforms. Like if you can come to Telegram, ask there on the channel. Um, if you can come to a video like this one, ask your question in the comment section or any of my videos, ask your question in the comment section, I will answer free of charge. If you want to come to my inbox, I'm sorry, you'll have to pay. Let me know what you guys think. Do you think I'm being unfair to you guys by asking you to pay for my time in the inbox? And the reason why I will answer your question free here in the comments on the public domain, because if I answer you, if you have a question, probably a thousand other people have that same question. So I get to help a lot of people at the same time. But when you come to my inbox and there's a thousand other people with the same question, it means I have to answer that question a thousand times. Um, yeah, I'm sorry, that's how it's going to work. Let me know in the comment section below, what do you think? Inbox paid. Public platform free of charge. Let me know. On that note, I'm going to quickly answer your questions and then I'm going to wrap it up. And um, do let me know what you think about this video. Did it make sense? Did it... Was it helpful to you? Please share it. So we have Peter from Ghana. Hi. We have Emmanuel from Scotland. Hi. Um, Masibulele in the US. Hi. What are you doing awake at this point? Must be so early. Tulsi from Dubai. Hi. Getrude. Hi. Welcome back to Kenya. Naomi from Turkey. Hi. Sue from Saudi. How is Saudi? Spindler. Watching from Kenya, but I have a question concerning the Finland exam. I did the trial and I scored 95. If I don't have that 700 euros, is there any need of doing the actual exam? I don't think so, because you won't get your permanent residence. Gertrude, I am watching from Nairobi. Hi, Patrick from Togo, Como Saba. Kemne Cham from Newcastle. Hi, how is Newcastle? The joys of life. Hail, love, Eva. Tune from Kenya to love. Thank you so much. Martin, green list first. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I saw your email, but I was like, oh, it's okay. We'll get to it at some point. Spindler is saying employers, employers, looks like the employers won. Somebody's get to this asking, is, it, is New Zealand English speaking? Yes, it is. But we have the natives. They call them, um, what do they call those natives? Almost like the, the, the aboriginals we have in Australia. We have um, a similar group of people in New Zealand. I think they, let me Google it. I forget the name. Um, what do they call them? Like the native language. So they have like the, what they call the Ma Maori. So you'll find um, Maori and um the new zealand sign language as the main official language spoken but they speak english it's just like in kenya we have english and swahili so swahili is like the official language but there's a lot more people speaking um english 
so it works for you healthcare audio has gone juliet i'm sorry thank you for letting me know so i i i learned that when i'm holding the phone sometimes i cover the mouthpiece that's why Spindler is asking if you're applying with your job, so, sorry, with your phone. Uh, if you're applying with your phone, guys, I told you what you do. Let me give you an example. Um, so here, Oh, by the way, guys, I'm curious. Has any one of you signed for, uh, scanned their eyeballs for the world coins? For wa world coins. Has anyone? I'm curious. I won't judge, I promise. <laughs> so this is what you do. For maximum... Let me put it on the desk. So if this is your phone, the first thing you want to do is to put it landscape, like what I've done. And then come here. Do you see these three dots? Three dots. Yeah. And then just scroll down, scroll down. Uh -uh, okay. I think I have to open a tab. Let me open immigration. Immigration New Zealand. I have to open a tab first. New Zealand. Okay. Okay. So I'm here on the Immigration New Zealand website. Yeah. So you go to the Immigration New Zealand website. Then come here. These three dots. Scroll down. Are you see what I'm doing? Then click on here. Desktop site. Okay. So do you see? So what you see, what I was showing is what you'll see on the desktop site. You see? This is exactly So this, you convert your phone into a computer. Yeah. I hope it's clear. And then when you're ready, you're done. You just come back to the dots. Scroll down. And then you unclick. It comes back to cell phone cell phone format you see the difference i hope it's clear so if you don't have a laptop or a computer that's what you do just convert your phone your phone into a desktop the way i've shown you um tracking and age limit eva guys i don't know there's this question all of you keep asking me Age limit, age limit. See, you apply for the job in Nime Kanza. How much does it cost you to send a job application? And I've seen it everywhere on TikTok, YouTube. Why are you guys obsessed with age limits? You submit the application. And then the other question all of you keep asking me, oh, can I move with family? You will get the job first. <laughs> Why do you like jumping? Like people are constantly looking for excuses to not apply for the job to not apply for the visa to not apply like constantly looking for excuses why don't you go one step at a time yeah you're here asking oh and all those applications it's free to apply for the job free how much does it cost you to send an email and you're here asking age limit age limit age limit and if there's one thing you noticed from all those jobs that i shared with you guys it was very clear that in case of any questions, this is a recruiting manager. But why are you asking those questions? You, you go and apply. And, and interestingly, you will be surprised. A lot of uh, these questions is because of, I'll call them traumas we have had in our own countries because we get judged for the stupidest of reasons. I know like in Kenya, my name alone is enough for me to miss a course at the university, even if I got an A. Like, your name is enough reason for you not to get a job. Your name is enough reason not to get a, a promotion. So because you already have these traumas in our head, 
we are always looking for, oh, what is stopping me? You, or instead of looking at what is going to make, like focusing on my skills. By the way, guys, let me tell you, the rest of the world operates on skills. They don't care for your tribe, for your children. And I've seen this even in the series that some of you sent me. People are so obsessed on what makes you not get it than on what makes you get it. And rightly so, because of our backgrounds. We are so used to these traumas. We are so used to being segregated. You always, like I post a position, oh, can Nigerians apply? When I've clearly said all nationalities. Oh, I sent a position, oh, what about us in Ghana? I share an opportunity. Oh, what about us who are young? Oh, what about us who are old? I post a cruise ship job. Oh, age limit. When the age limit on a cruise ship is 21 to 67. Guys, come on. Please stop looking for excuses. This is a positivity channel. And that's why every year we start our videos with manifestation. For us here, we focus on things that we want, not things that we don't want. We focus on things that are positive, not things that are negative. So please, please, please stop looking for results not to apply. I know some of you would rather just come and watch me here and then have an excuse of why you didn't apply because oh the age oh can i move with family why don't you try moving fast why are you, you 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 don't even have a passport and you're asking me can i move with my family oh what about the age why if if if, if you think you're too old you probably are but who told you that because you're old you cannot work and because you've seen the nature of old people in your country, you think every old person looks like the old person in Kenya, I will surprise you. And that's why I tell you guys, please, if you can afford to travel, please travel. For example, if you get a chance to go to the US or to Canada or to any of these developed countries, people are so independent that an 80-year-old woman, a 90-year-old man stays by himself. He does all his things by himself. He has his own money. He drives his car. He plows his farm. He does his own things. But because we don't care about our bodies here in our countries, because we don't care to take care of ourselves, we get children that we can't take care of. We don't care about ourselves. By the time somebody is 50, they are so worn out they can't do nothing and that's why and because of our narrow thinking we just think everybody is like us they are old like us because i'm 50 i look i don't know we've messed up our bodies like in my country kenya everybody thinks the only way you can have fun is to drink so we drink ourselves our bodies are worn out by the time you're 40 you're so old and then you think the rest of the world is like that and that's why you're worried, I'm 40, I can barely move, I have high blood pressure, I have diabetes, I have, I don't know what, 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 and I'm so worried, will they hire me? That's why they do these health checks. You know, in Kenya, when you're hired, like for me, I've been working since um, the year 2000, nobody ever asked me about my health when they were hiring me. The only time they asked me about my health is when they want to process the, the insurance card. So that's why some of you are very surprised that before you're hired in those countries, they check your health. Yeah, because there's people that take health seriously. So guys, quit with this age issue. Just take care of yourself. And you're going to be 70 and looking 30. And not have to worry about your age. But it doesn't matter. Even if you're 20 and you're obese and you have high blood pressure and you have diabetes and you have whatever other infections you've created upon yourself, all these lifestyle diseases, nobody's going to hire you. I'm sorry. It's the truth. And you're welcome to come for me in the comment section and say, I'm a hater. You're welcome. Okay? I'm going to tell it as it is because I am so sick of all these comments and sentiments and take care of yourself so that even if you're 70 and you're sitting on that interview, they'll make an exception for you yeah because it doesn't matter even if you're 20 and you look like a 50 year old it doesn't matter nobody's gonna hire you 
because that's part of the requirement, okay? Moving on. So please apply for the job. If they don't like your age, they won't hire you. Um, okay. Hi, Mohammed from Sierra Leone, Port Harcourt. Hi, Esther. Gertrude, yeah, you saw like some, Gertrude is asking, do they still ask for COVID certificate? Yeah, you saw like trees, trees kept in, used to hire people from outside, but now they are having that close for COVID. Yeah, but you can still get a COVID certificate even if you're not vaccinated, if you know what I mean. Yes, get to such query, such term keyword is very important. Um, Gwenya is a sous chef. I want to work on land. Oh, great. I've just shown you so many ways you can find opportunities. Lucille, is that something for mental health? Yes, Lucille, please. If you've just joined the video, just scroll back to the beginning. Sally is here for CBC. We covered you as well, Samuel. Yes, they call me dear, so I'll open my inbox one of these fine days. Ngwenya is saying thank you for the information. You're welcome. We have Chuku from Togo, Komosava. Andrew, how is salary rates versus expenditure? You're going to have to do that for yourself. Check that, please. Um, um, Kelvin from Nigeria. I've been watching your videos, but I'm about to go to Canada with visitor visa. Enjoy your stay. Somebody's asking for the link. Just scroll back to the beginning of the videos. I was sharing all the links on the screen. Um, get to I think I've answered your question. Andrew, what is the rate of monthly income? Depends on the job. If you are very keen on the videos, I was sharing the jobs and the salaries. So feel free to scroll back. Michael from Uganda, Oreo Tiasebo. Steve, Eva, you are a brand just like Janet Rangi and you deserve to ask for a consultation. Exactly, Steve, I love you. Yes. Yeah, and I am so legit. Like, uh, guys, look even at my videos. No clickbait. Like, exactly what I write on the video is what I talk about. So thank you so much. If you want to come to my inbox, you're going to have to pay. I'm sorry. If you have a question, you're free to put it here in the public domain i will try and answer it but if your question has a video i will not answer you'll have to go and watch the video ahmad from kenya does Aden university in berlin germany exist a quick google search would answer your question ahmad i am watching from kenya please help me out is Aden university a real university or should i keep off ahmad a very very simple google search you're lucky you found me in a good mood today, so I will help you. So just come to Google and type Aden University. So you can even, let me just show you something. Mr. Aden, I hope you're a son. I don't want to make the same mistake my subscribers make. So you can see, I have just started typing Aden University. Before I even finish, you can see there's university in England and there's Aden University, Berlin. So what you do, just come here and click on Aden University. Berlin is in England. So you come and click here and confirm. Why isn't it open? Maybe it doesn't exist. Okay, probably that. Okay, and here you go. But it looks like it is a branch of the one in the UK because look at the the what do we call it look at the dot ac dot uk so this is another way of knowing universities ac just as for academics dot uk or sometimes you'll find dot edu so you can see here it probably is a branch of the one in the uk study your degree in the heart of europe's most popular city for overseas students berlin our aim at Aden university blah 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 so sometimes, guys, a quick Google search would save you a lot of heartache. Imagine if you didn't find me in a good mood. I probably could have given you a rude answer, but you're fortunate. Hi, Bini from Uganda, Oriotia. I'm still on my contract here in Dubai, but to relocate to Jersey for work. 
So Bini, depending on what your occupation is in Jersey, yesterday we did a live video. Please go and watch it. If you're in the hospitality, you want to keep your job for a while because um, the opportunity I shared for hospitality opens in November for jobs in 2024. So you may want to keep your job for some time unless you're in the other industries. So guys, looks like I've answered all your questions. Um, thank you so much for coming onto the live. If you are just joining, welcome. You will have to just scroll to the very beginning. We had some really, really um, interesting conversations. And um, if you have just seen my face for the first time, welcome to the family. My name is Eva Mutali. Um, on TikTok, I am known as Eva Mutali as well. Twitter is Eva Mutali. Um, uh, Telegram, Eva Mutali. Everywhere, Eva Mutali, Instagram. And would love to have you as part of our family. So do yourself a favor and subscribe. Um, hit the notification bell so that every time I shoot a new video, you do not miss out. And if you found this video helpful, please do give it a like and um, do share it as well. I will see you guys on the next one. Bye.